Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I've got a wash and go look for you. So if you want to see how I shift this coil pattern, this wash and go look, keep watching. First is make sure your hair is really saturated with water all over. I'm going to drench my hair with water. The leave-in conditioner. I've got just a mixture of different oil and I've got fenugreek seed and some orange peel so literally all oil is my anti jacket don't shrink okay so i tend to do the front parts a bit neat because obviously that's the front part the back i don't i just literally use my fingers to kind of part because i'm gonna kind of leave it so that's that i'm gonna pat the side i'm just gonna do it into four places Start with this one here okay so the aim is to make it manageable so i'm just gonna sprinkle water in here almost drenching it because you just need water to make it soft i'm gonna put a bit of more conditioner in it conditioner also helps to make it um soft as well now i'm gonna use a bit of oil i'm gonna detangle now so literally start with a small piece it's good to just walk in sections and because when you walk in a big section it's hard to you know there's obviously slack as you can see there's slack so but you try and um, separate it so if there is um if you put your finger straight it's holding you up you stop and you try and separate it because you don't want mm. it so you would still kind of shed some hair you know it's not like it's that's going to prevent shedding it's well, easily manageable at least you're going to share less hair than dragging your fingers dragging it down try not to do that tangle well and um, so i tend to finger the tangle a lot i i comb my hair but i don't comb it all the time except i want to do some styles that really require me combing it you might as well be working on soaking with hair and uh, most of the time i do this in the bathroom so you just need a bit of patience and time to do it so you, this is not what you want to do when you're rushing put water in and salt and then and conditioner oil you can use any oil so if you've got olive oil you can use that they all all the oils have benefits so i just felt to myself I just need to mix them up to get the benefits from all the oils and um, so that's why but you could use any oil you want so you could use olive oil and um, or any oil it gives it some slick and it kind of seals in the moisture i believe and um, so that's oil and water spread it in. okay so i'll just show you what i did earlier so one section my fingers through so when you see your fingers not going through don't drag it in just stop and try and detangle it you know so you just yeah so it's dragging through now okay so that's kind of how i do it you need to take your time to do your hair and um, as opposed to you know when we're growing up we just carry comb by like mm -hmm. you know, comb it through taking the hair out okay you need to kind of work on that that it takes a while <laughs> to just avoid just grabbing a comb and just dragging it so if i use my comb for example you just drag through and take out the snack obviously and cut your hair in the process as well so yeah so this is detangled okay and let's just see it's there's a snack so i stop and i open it stop and i open it stop you know so I mean, this is really all about finger that if you need one more water you spray more water into it just to make your hair um easy to run your fingers through so say so this is the tangle so i'll do the same for every part of the hair you need water put more water in and that's kind of what you do so there's a snag you need if you need conditioner put more conditioner in just to make the hair soft just you know i try not to use too many product but you might end up you know especially if you're proper 4c i think my hair is maybe 4a or 4b but if you're proper 4c you need to yeah put a lot of water kind of doing the same thing so now my finger can go through and obviously 
you still need to shed some. So, you know, it's not like you are eliminating your hair losing, but you are um, minimizing it. So I'm just going to add it to this here. So see, my fingers can, can, can literally go through most of it. So that's when you know your hair is slightly distangled, you know, so you can work with that. And if I get stuck, I try and remove each one, you know, like this, like so, okay? So it's key to just use your time, take your time, spring more water in if you need to. And now I can kind of roll my pattern. So I'm gonna be using the anti jacket, don't shrink, gel. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the back. So I roll my fingers through. Again, if you need water, you put a bit of water. Bring your fingers through. It's key to make do it on wet hair. You can do it on using this much on the jacket. Put a bit there, a bit there. Um, here. I'm taking some out. I just do my fingers through it. So what I tend to do is just roll my fingers through it. That's it. Okay. So sometimes I do this at the bottom. But I just string put my finger in. So I run my hands through like this and put my fingers in. Because when you put water, it just makes it easier to put your fingers through. Okay. So I'm not gonna take a bit of gel. If you need more gel, because what gel does it removes freeze so if you look at it you're seeing freeze or you're seeing some hair hanging around just use a bit of gel you can use gel at the tip as well so all i'm putting is the gel guys so because I'm, I'm just putting the gel on it and water okay Um, I'll put a bit of water and use a gel and that's kind of how I get the definition I'm getting so I break my fingers through like so then I do to the top and I like long together you could do the prayer method some people do this but literally I just I just hold my finger and smooth it like this like so so break my finger smooth it like this that's how I get my definition Okay, if I need more gel, I put gel. And the more gel you put, the more shrinkage you get. So, a bit of water. So, you know, because the water dries out. <laughs> so, before you get to this side of your hair, it's probably dry. Um, and I think I'm high porosity as well. Gel, put in the roots like so. Try and put it everywhere. Um, take more gel, put in bit everywhere. Literally, you want gel in the hair to get your definition. Especially if you want less freeze. So I put my fingers through like so. Do this gel in. You put more gel. If you want it smooth, no freeze, you need more gel in. Okay, so, so I do the literally smoothing it out and put fingers through. Put the gel in, run my fingers through. gel bottom you put in the root because you want it to kind of slick down I to remove the tangles because i know we've detangled earlier but you know our hair is kinky so it does kink up um so yeah so it's good to just as you go as well you need to detangle we detangled earlier but some tangles can just it's it's kinky hair so that's what it does <laughs> so um yeah so you run your fingers to make sure there's no tangles you can use comb if you want to at this stage because you've fingered the tangles so it's going to be less breakage then you take your gel so i'm using my anti jacket gel today you can use eco styler or any gel you've got
Okay. One more trip, fingers through it. The gel. Run down through the section. Put a bit of water. Just to make it soft for my fingers to run through it and then I'm gonna put gel in it roots and down it's key to take small sections so I'm gonna sprinkle a bit of water in trying to tangle and my fingers through it See, I'm getting a bit of snag, so I'll stop and remove it. I think I packed a bit of hair I've done before here. Put my fingers through air. As long as it's able, your fingers in. So I use my fingers through. Then I take gel, put it in the front just to smoothen it. If you want it laid, you put a bit of gel on the edge like so. Then I tend to put everywhere else. And on the ends, if you want it smooth. I smooth like so and I sh put my fingers through again so I smooth and I put my fingers through okay so you get that coil of finishing you want and then you can let it go okay so I smooth it it kind of clumps it together put my fingers through it kind of get what I want in terms of coils if you see a bit of snag anywhere or um you put gel to smooth in it in place. So, so I go to the next one. End of this video. Thank you so much for sticking around. And this is the finished look, guys, after eight hours. So it's 90% dry. It's all, it's all shrunk in, so I kind of need to do the bander method to kind of band it and give it some length because it's literally shrunk in. This hair lasts me for like a week plus, so I'm going to carry this for like seven to nine days. And all I do is band it and use my satin scarf at night.